In today's tutorial, you will learn how to stabilize your footage in DaVinci Resolve so it's ultra smooth and steady. This approach is ideal for product demo or for speed ramp effects. Hi, my name is Adrian and on this channel you'll find editing as well as filming tutorials and guides. So tap subscribe if you haven't already and let's start. So we've got our clip in the timeline. It's not bad, even shot with the gimbal, but as you see it's not ultra smooth and steady. There is some rocking, wobbling effect. You can try to stabilize it in the inspector, let me show you. In stabilization section you can switch between different mode. Let's try the first one which is perspective. It's better but still not 100% steady. Hope you can see it too. Let's try similarity. Yeah, the wobbling is still noticeable. And translation. In my opinion the most satisfying result for this kind of shot, but to be honest I want more, especially when you want to apply speed ramp effect. If you want to learn how to create speed ramp effect in DaVinci Resolve, check out these videos. Ok, so to make it even more steady we need to jump into Fusion page, but don't worry it will be really really simple. So in the Fusion select Media in Note, open Selection tool by tapping Shift Space, search for Plana Tracker and Add. And you should have the Plana Tracker connected between Media In and Media Out nodes. Let me switch to Single Viewer and make more room. In the inspector switch motion type to translation, set reference time by clicking set and now we need to select the area we want to track. Let me enable spot on the mouse, I always forget, sorry for that. It's better. So we need to select area we want to track, choose something in the middle, for instance the headlight, but I will focus on the rim so I will select the Mercedes badge. Let me zoom the preview, so hold CTRL key and scroll. Ok, now we need to track it backward and forward. I prefer to do it frame by frame, the tracker is more accurate, but you can also click track to start if you like. So track to start, once you've reached the first frame click go to go back to our reference time and track to the end. Now we need to switch operation mode to stabilize. And this is what we've got so far. The image is very, very steady, but nothing is for free. Our image is cropped a bit, there are some empty spaces we need to get rid of. So with the Planet Tracker node selected, click the Transform node button. Transform node will be added directly after our Planet Tracker. And in the inspector adjust the size to get rid of this empty canva. And this is it. Let me know what you think, if you liked it or not. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, I will appreciate it a lot. Cheers and see you in the next one.